Okay, you've heard of the Mona Lisa. You probably haven't heard of Lisa del Giacondo, whose portrait some scientists think was painted over in making the Mona Lisa. Pablo Picasso apparently painted over someone else's portrait to create his work, The Old Guitarist. Same thing for Vincent van Gogh in painting Patch of Grass. One thing these findings all have in common, they were discovered decades or centuries later using modern scientific instruments. Here's how some researchers solve or find historic mysteries of art. A painting will change from the moment it's made, and so there, there's no chance of restoring it to the way it looked when it was first made. But you can appreciate how it might have looked by doing the research that's needed, and then present it in the best way it can be presented. With these new tools, it's become a little bit easier to find out more about painting techniques and to find out in more detail about materials. For example, use a handheld X-ray fluorescent spectrometer to look at areas of a painting and look at the kind of elements they contain. We learn quite a lot from people X-raying pictures and X-rays will penetrate all the way through the painting. So you can see aspects of the whole thickness of a picture. And sometimes you can see the frame and the nails that have been used to hammer the canvas in. Sometimes you can see reworkings in paint, so you can see things that you can't see on the surface. There are different devices that are used for infrared photography. So you can do an infrared photo on a specially adapted camera. You might see something beneath the varnish. You might see drawing underneath a paint layer. So you might find a picture under another picture or a drawing underneath a picture that's been covered up with a completely different picture. There are always new discoveries to be made. Each of these techniques tells you something different. To make you a good conservator, I think you need all those elements. Eventually, you know, everything changes and everything deteriorates. Although we now use materials which we hope will last at least 100 years, inevitably um, pictures will need to be cared for. And those, those works that have been cared for, now we retain them, we, we benefit from that, we can still see them, and the things that have been very neglected, we, we've lost them. So that's why conservation is important.